Here we go. Here we go, guys. We're playing Risk Classic Capitals. Hope you guys enjoy. Oh, frick. Um, right now, I am ranked master at 25,612. Just played a game, got second place. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I get started with it. If you are watching this video and you are not subscribed, I have 30% of you are, are subscribed, but the other 70% aren't. So please, if you haven't already, go down below, hit that subscriber button, and let's get that started. All right. Um, all caps suck. All of them. Is this the bad cap strat? Be a bad idea. It'd be a really bad idea, but I think I might go for it. Are we going back? Bad caps? Somebody tell me bad caps. Bad caps, right? Bad caps? Holy frick. Whoa. Wait. Whoa. You're Ukraine. You, dude, that makes it a choky map. Ukraine Blizzard makes it a choky map, bro. European turtle? European turtle? Or Argentinian... Argentinian noob. Argentinian noob or European turtle? Argentinian noob or European turtle? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. All right, guys. Someone tell me. Someone in chat tell me. Am I am I doing it? In a baller? Dude, I could do... Ah, oh, frick. Pink's making me nervous. Yeah, that's bad because Pink's going to want the bonus. And if they leave a stack there, I'm guaranteed no cards. Especially if... Because, like, I'll be blocked going through that way anyway. Maybe the six is the best play for safety. Dude. I am the last to cap. I know I have access this way. I guarantee someone's on Middle East. This might be the play in case I get blocked because someone capped in Middle East. But if someone capped in Kamkacha, that's even worse. Argentini... Argentina for the win. Europe don't get blocked. Go Europe. Someone's saying Europe. Someone's saying North America. Hurry up. <laughs> Dude, Ar Argentina would be a baller move, but I, I feel like it's an easy block and it's too risky for an easy block. If it if, if, honestly, if pink did not cap there and i didn't see that i think i would go for it but that's too risky i'm trying to get the grandmaster right here i'm not trying to mess around yeah dude i'll go to australia if i had a territory there <laughs> you're hilarious i mean come on i don't have a territory i could totally take that bonus me just waiting for blue to open that so i can Come out with the seven. So we know where one, two, three caps are. We don't know where the other are. So we got pink, yellow, and my territory accounted for in terms of caps. There's no cap on Venezuela because we just saw blue attack it. So that's good. Um, we don't know about Quebec, but I very much doubt it that there is a cap there based on the fact that yellow chose first. The only thing I'm worried about is Middle East and Kim Kacha. Siam would be a great cap. So. Don't you love it knowing Arco really sucks? <sighs> Everything on cap, take a card in Europe. Pretty simple, right? Even AI Jesus knows it. <laughs> oh my god. AI Jesus is hilarious. Ooh, loses three. I need to pay attention in case someone loses a cap turn one. So far, nope. No one lost a cap turn one. Unless the one on the outside did it. 
though. He attacked a lot that turn. Interesting. Yeah, uh, you just want to stay clear of everyone, really. Your goal is not to block your cap at all because it's such a choky map, when, especially when Australia, or I'm sorry, when Ukraine's like this. It looks like I might be getting this bonus, but Obviously, that's up to yellow if he wants to break, right? I think I'll add three to here. Go pop, pop, and try to hold it. But that's up to yellow. He is not aware of my cap in the top. Yeah. You would need to hold... You need to hold a Europe first turn to even make a difference. I think it's more about taking caps than anything on this map because of the extra plus two. So if you take caps early, like it, you very rarely see a snowball on classic. It, it's not common. The you know, only way it could snowball is if someone comes off cap. Like it, it that's the only way. Is there a cap in Middle East? Uh, most likely. I think there's a cap in Middle East in Cam Kacha. I'm kind of worried to go check. That's the only thing about that. I don't need to add more to my cap this turn. I think I, uh, oh, frick. I could hold, uh, South America, but I had to put all my troops there this turn to hold it, which I could do, but I don't think that's worth it ever. Considering that they're playing novice to grandmaster, one hundred percent, I don't think it's worth it. I'll just take the bonus and split. Honestly, in this situation, See if yellow breaks me or not. Depends on whether or not he's a good neighbor. Okay, so he doesn't he doesn't want me to hold. Cool. Alright. I mean I'll just take cards. I bet purple hits my three. <laughs> I mean, I got a card out of it, so I mean, losing a two trying to hold a bonus is worth it. It's weird you have not seen any anything on the half of the map. Yeah, it is because I was not placed in Asia or Australia. 
and I did not get to see Middle East at all. I will, I will look this turn though. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll look. I'll look. No. Yellow, remove my three. If I look, I'll just pull my three back. Make it look like I have the cap on uh, Argentina. Take a card in Europe, pull my three back. That's a good idea. Red's cap is in Middle East. That is a noob if I've ever seen one. That is a noob if I have ever seen one. Yep. 100% big noob alert. Breaking bonuses because he wants to. Oh my God. I bet if I left the eight there, he'd hit it. Obviously, I didn't have the bonus, guys, but it's the fact of the matter that he thought I did. That's why he attacked it. So pink is here in East Africa. Red's got to be on Middle East. Yeah, I'm right. Okay. No one stole a cap. Everyone's playing passive. So pink and red are kissing caps. Um, this is a very scary two point hold. Two point hold on Asia and Australia because of one blizzard. One blizzard did that. I think the craziest blizzards would be uh, North North Africa, Ukraine, and Alaska. That would be the craziest blizzards ever. North Africa, Ukraine, and Alaska. Why? Why would that be? Because it would make a split of the map in half. And that would create a one point hold on Southern Europe to split the whole map. That that territory splits the entire map in half. Because you got Africa, Asia, and Australia on a one point hold here. And you got Europe, North America, and South America on a one point hold here. It's reversed half split. If you guys know a better, uh, a more intense uh, split of the map, tell me. I would like to know. I bet there probably is two caps in Australia. That wouldn't surprise me. But I think we would have seen a suicide by now, usually. Also, if you guys didn't know, yesterday was 6-9 uh, day. Because it was the sixth month of the year on the ninth day of the month. And right now, for my time, it's 4-20. 420 baby dab also if you haven't read this look what it says i think you'd like it sounds like a you problem <laughs> It is nine six for the rest of the world. You're right. Yeah, because of the uh, you guys start with day month year, USA starts with month day year. So if you were to do six nine for you guys, it, it would be on uh September September sixth would be your six nine. So technically that would be six nine. I guess we could celebrate then as well. I don't know.
It starts with five? Yeah, we like to go in order. I mean, it makes sense. I, I actually agree with your, uh, with day, month, year, but for us, it's a bigger deal that we know the month, I think. I don't know. Like, we like to say July 4th, or, but some people like to say July, 4th of July. Like, the rest of the world is like saying 4th of July while we're saying July 4th. All right? Like, you know, it's weird. You think Japan's smarter saying the year it's 2023, June 4th? <laughs> like, you know, that's it. Today is 2023, June 4th. <laughs> that sounds so weird. Honestly, kind of. It's not weird. It's just like you're saying the year first. I just feel like that. I don't know. I just feel like the year isn't as important because you just they don't go by as that quick at all. I think I think month day year is reasonable and I think day month year is reasonable. I think they're both good. Like I feel like either way works. But when you get to year, it's just like huh? I don't think you need that unless you're time traveling. <laughs> like that's all I see it for. I'm last in turn order, so I'm going to get the biggest sets. If you have to sort vitals, it's useful. I guess, yeah. Yeah, I, I could see that, Hakaris. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I agree with that in, fi in terms of filing. When filing, that makes the most sense. Yellow cards get twice. Why? Why did he card skip twice? I mean, that's fine. I don't care. Fine by me. If he's going to card skip twice, that still benefits me. I just won't get the biggest set, you know, right now. It'll eventually pop in. It hurt him the most. Once isn't new enough. I mean, if he made it the first time, I didn't even notice it the first time, but I still would do what I did. Oh, frick you, purple. He's going for the freaking bonus. Oh my god, dude. You're not holding that. I'm breaking you. He only lost one on a four? Uh, Nathaniel Carter says 62. I say around 60 to 65, which is what Carter said, but I say anywhere from 60 to 65 is the cutoff. Guaranteeing yourself to make it is 65. Uh, minimum requirement on my end is 60. So everyone who started round four with 31 points, you need a win on both games to make it on both round four and round five to make semis just win you just need to win the game basically yeah carta that's exactly what i'm looking forward to Just, just go for what is necessary. Getting third in a bounty is what is necessary for most people to make it. I want to see if I can get... Well, I took the 89% chance to see Pink's cap. 
want to hit him. He doesn't need to see me. Carter, I never needed leeway. <laughs> I was always guaranteed the next round, every round. Even after the first round, even after the second round. I played one round and that was guaranteed the furthest round. Like, I, I won game... After my game... After round one, I was guaranteed to make round three. After my game two, I was guaranteed to make round four. Wait, wait, wait. No. After my game, after my game one, I was guaranteed to make round three. After my game two, I was guaranteed to make round four. After my game three, I was guaranteed to make round five. And six. After my game three, I was guaranteed semifinals because I was at 60 points and the cutoff even if I got sixth twice, I would be in the semifinals. Wow. Well, I'm just doing the math. Like, I'm just like saying, hey, you know. Exactly, Carter. I didn't even have to do anything. With the way the semi but the way the semifinals are, I'm kind of like disappointed with this tournament. You know what I mean? That's kind of it kind of makes my points worthless at this point. Every point I make now is worthless. I'm just taking points away from people at this point if I win any games. Like there's no point in me trying to win, you know? I could just sit there and feed people games or I could get remove people from the tournament, you know? Which is trashy. I would never do that to people. Okay. Looks like yellow is holding his a bonus. Dang, that's nice. So yellow gets to hold a bonus, but I don't red. Okay.
My god, what? <sighs> Freak you, Hakaris! It's another freaking edit I gotta do. Someone stole a cap. Who did it? Red botted. Red botted. Red red botted. Uh when? When did that happen? When did red bot? When did Wait, 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 wait. Seven. Bruh. Bruh. What? How did I get all the way over there? Purple stole? What's purple starting with? Five. On his turn, possibly, but he didn't trade it on his turn. Seven. I think it's red. Whoa. Whoa. I think it's pink stole reds. But pink didn't. Yeah, I think pink stole reds. Red had the best cap, and pink's next to it. That makes most sense. What did pink start? We're gonna look around the next turns. We'll find out. I think it's I think it's gonna be red. He left his cap open. Letting me see. This is a very weird position for you. Definitely don't see. I would hit purple this turn. That way I'm still open to you and you're not open to me because you have Quebec. I saw it. I guess I guess the red bot is gonna open him most likely. No, no, no. I, he's next to a cap. Red's next to a cap. It won't hit me. Whoa. What did blue start with? Five. Okay. We've never seen blue's cap. There's no cap on Camp Gotcha, though. That's good. Very good. Purple started with five. He does not have two caps. So blue nor purple have two caps. Possible yellow. No, yellow has South America. So it's not yellow either. It's it's definitely pink. No doubt, I think it's pink. Also, blue card skipped. Blue card skipped. Yellow card skipped twice. Blue card skipped once. Could I kill blue? I might look around. Yeah, I'll, I'll go look. I'll go look because I'm going to get the uh, 40 trade. I'll go check him out. If he's less than if he's less than 35, I'll take it. If he's less than 35, I take it. Red started with nine. Red started with nine. Oh, he had he had Europe. I think I think Pink's taking the red kill. No, 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 no. That makes sense. Okay, okay. Red's kill. Red, red's a killable. Red's killable. Yeah, I think Pink's going for it. it it's got to be red. He's trying to kill red. He's attacking so much, bro. Good thing yells blocked. He can't get out. Red's also on each. He's attacking so much. I could probably get through pink. Oh my god, dude. He's hitting. He's hitting everything. Opens him. Okay. We don't know what we're going into. Oh my god, I swear. <laughs> oh yes. Beautiful. That's great. Oh man. I feel bad. No, I don't. I don't feel bad. What? Oh my god. 
No shot. What? This ain't real. I... No, I want to... This ain't real. Oh my god. What the frick? This is insane. I'm going to sweep this game. Holy frick, dude. Oh my, oh my god. Bro. Come on, dude. I'm going to the 1v1 already? <laughs> what? What? Oh my god, dude. What the frick is that? Dude. Obviously, you put the cap there, and we're going to fortify put that on cap. Oh my god. I mean, he could... No, he can't. He just messed up. If he put everything on cap, like, if he put everything on that 68, and he went around the board and he got perfect dice, he probably could have won. But, nah, he, he failed already. Thanks. Good game. All right, guys. Uh, that game, that is probably the fastest classic fix game I've ever played. Uh, wow. Thanks. Come on, noob. Do noob things. Yes. Do noob things. Do do the noobish. Do the noobish things, please. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you for doing noob things. Oh my gosh. Open my cat, come on. Nope, okay. Good game. Bia! Hope you guys enjoyed this video. That was fast. Wow. I'm speechless. Because now... Four beginners and an expert. Blue player was an expert on... Yeah, but that was fed. The game was fed. No, we can't be friends. Sorry, bro. Uh, yeah. We are back to net to to expert guys. Thank you guys for watching this uh video. I wow, I am very baffled that this just this just happened. Dab. <laughs> that is the fastest classic fix or classic progressive caps game i've ever played i'm going to title it that too that was that deserves the title of the fastest classic fi classic progressive caps game i've ever played 100 percent. gg guys peace